Good evening, YouTube. It's Dan. Been gone a long time. As you can see, it is winter here in the Great Socialist Republic of Ill Socialist Republic of Illinois. I am smoking a Savinelli Series Three with some hobbit's weed. Don't have much to say anymore. So I've been gone for a while. Been out of work for several months. Evidently nobody needs an old, blind, fat, retired, disabled U.S. vet. Anyway, on to better things. Today I'd like to talk about the first time I smoked a pipe. Meanwhile, let's try to see. If we can't keep the pipe lit. Anyway, first time I remember seeing somebody smoke a pipe was my grandfather. His name was Arland. Didn't know Arland very well, but I looked up to him. He had, I think, about a hundred and I think a hundred and sixty acres, maybe eighty acres. One of the two. Small farm. Back in the day, didn't have a tractor. They only used horse and manpower. But I didn't come along until tractors were around. Anyway, my grandpa, what I remember of him, when I'd come over there, he'd be sitting in the corner of the living room. Smoking a pipe. Don't remember what the pipe was. Don't know what it looked like. Wish I had it. Anyway, he'd be sipping some brandy, smoking his pipe. Talking to my dad. I'd just sit there looking at him and awe. Something about him. He was almost a godlike figure to me. Anyway. In 1976, my grandfather passed away. I was 10 years old. I don't remember when it was, but not long after that, I noticed my dad had one of his pipes. But he didn't smoke it. Kept in his top dresser drawer in his bedroom. Along with other important little things he liked. Stuff from when he was in the military. Stuff when he was over in Korea, stuff like that. But I would sneak in there and look at that pipe once in a while. Remind me of my grandpa. I started thinking when I was about 12 or 13, I think. You know, I'm getting old enough now. I should be able to smoke a pipe. I can't even smoke a pipe now. Can't keep the dang thing lit. It's about 20 degrees right now. A little bit chilly. Anyway, Dad didn't have any uh, pipe tobacco, but he did smoke cigarettes. He smoked Salem's. Kept a carton in the refrigerator. Don't know why for sure he kept it in the refrigerator, but they were in the refrigerator. Always had a carton in there. At least one carton. So I thought to myself, next time they're gone, I'm going to sneak in his room. 
get that pipe. I'm gonna tear some of those cigarettes apart, use that tobacco, and smoke that pipe. Simple, right? So I waited, it seemed like weeks. Finally, the opportunity came. They went to, I think it was a movie. I snuck in his room. Just me and my sister at home. She was three years older than me. Got his pipe. Went to the kitchen. Opened up the refrigerator. Got in that carton. There were no cigarettes. He'd run out. He never runs out of cigarettes. What the hell am I going to do? I was going to smoke that pipe come hell or high water. So I sat there thinking. When you're smoking a pipe, you're just basically smoking. I need to stuff this full of something that burns so I can get the smoke. Jake! Come here! Sorry, my dog's running off. Anyway, sat and thought for a while. My dad liked working with wood. He had boxes full of wood shavings. From his saws, his saws, his drills, all that stuff. Don't know why he kept the wood shavings, but he did. So I thought, I'm gonna go down there, put some wood shavings in this pipe. I am going to smoke it. Went down there. Put in the wood shavings. I had some of those wooden matches. Lit a match. Wouldn't start. Lit another match. Fire the shavings would not catch on fire. No matter what I did. So I thought, i got to do something else. So I decided. The wood shavings are too wet. The wood's just not dry enough. It's not going to light. I'm going to get paper. So I got a bunch of paper. Shredded it. Like tobacco. Packed that sucker tight. I put a couple match heads from those wooden matches in there too to make sure it caught fire. I was going to smoke a pipe. Had that thing full, struck a match, lit it, took a big deep breath, and shit, didn't think, I sucked down flame, burnt my tongue inside of my mouth, and it felt like my whole face was on fire, threw the damn thing down, ran upstairs, shoved some ice and water in my mouth. But man, I had blisters all over my tongue, inside of my mouth. Well, my parents got home. Didn't notice anything. Thank God. But a couple days later, my dad was walking up the stairs and down in his workshop. Daniel, do you know why my dad's pipe is downstairs? No, Dad, I don't know. Actually, uh, no, Dad, I don't know. My tongue is still burnt. He kind of chuckled. Went and put the pipe away. Never said anything again. But I know he knew what happened. Because he wasn't much for words. But I tell you what. The next few days, he talked to me like he's never talked to me before. Asking questions about all kinds of things, just wanting me to talk. He could tell something was wrong, but he didn't say a word. He just kind of chuckled. I remember that. Like it was yesterday. Over 40 years ago. Over 40 years ago, my grandpa's gone. My father passed away several years back. August 18th, 2013, actually, is when my father passed.
miss him a lot. But anyway, just curious. When did you guys first smoke a pipe? Anybody have any fun experiences to relate? I bet you do. I'll see you later. This is Dan from Zombie Nation. Take care.